All right, we are here with Dennis and Gina Parker, and they just finished uh, this flip here in Long Beach. I have Tisha, Queen Tisha in here. House looks beautiful. We'll do some before and afters. All right. So the question we have is, what was your biggest thing that you took away from this flip? What did you I would have to say the biggest thing that I took away from this is that you have to be here to manage your crew. The workers, um, make sure you're here checking on them several times a week, but calling them if they're not here and just continue to um, follow the whole process through. Don't leave anything for chance. It could even be an outlet you think would go in a certain place and it's just not there. So you have to be here to remind them that you want that there. So just making sure you're at the location the whole time of the rehab and just not leaving it for chance. Okay, so micromanage. micromanage. Pretty much. Right. Micromanage your project. Yeah. Right. I would say a big takeaway for me is in order to learn, you have to go through it. So, um, you know, YouTube classes, book studying, uh, all those things are great because you need the knowledge. But in order to really learn this business or a flip, you have to go through it because uh, I learned so much on this flip that we didn't know. And um, there's nothing like the real deal to to teach you what you need to know. So um, yeah, this one flip alone just taught us so many things uh, that a classroom or videos uh, could not teach us. But like I said, those are important. You have to keep studying and, and doing those things to have that base knowledge. But life experience is probably the most important thing. Just do it. I want to add that we have great teachers and that without Sam yeah. and Lynn, coaching us through this, coming when we had questions, I'm sure he's even something so simple as what do you think of this tile? Mm -hmm. Just little helpful um, hints of, from them. They pretty much gave us, it's your flip, you do it, but you know what, with that leadership we have and trusting in them to help us along the way with all the analyzers and teaching, it's priceless. Yeah. So team, I'd say to piggyback off that, um, I think investing is a team sport. Yes, maybe you can do it by yourself, but Without a team, it's it's we probably be so much harder. So we lean heavily on our team, Fortune Weaver's team, to do this flip. Awesome. All right. So you found this on your own, and uh, so talk to me a little bit about how you went about that. So um, through the teaching of Fortune Weavers, we were uh, told to call realtors and uh, make relationships with realtors. And so I cold called an agent who had an ad in a magazine. And I told him what I was looking for, and pretty much he asked me to email my criteria. I sent it to him, and within about a couple of weeks, I kept calling him every week. And then a couple of weeks, he said I might have a deal. Um, I know someone's going to be selling a house. It's it needs work fixing up, but you know it's, it's a house in Long Beach. I said, give me a shot at it. So we actually got the house off market direct from the realtor, who had the buyer and had the seller. So with a pocket list. Yeah. So oh, it good. pays to continue to call realtors. Absolutely awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys.